हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज अ मॉडल नंबर फाइव वन सेवन इंडक्शन मोटर प्रोटेक्शन सिस्टम यूजिंग आर्डिनो ओवर आईओटी फर्स्ट वी विल सी द हार्डवेयर दिस इज अ स्टेप डाउन ट्रांसफॉर्मर वोल्टेज रेग्युलेटर सर्किटरी दिस इज अ करंट सेंसिंग अरेंजमेंट दिस इज अ वाइब्रेशन सेंसर फॉर वोल्टेज सेंसिंग वी हैव द टू सर्किटरी वन इज अ रियल मेजरमेंट एंड फॉर डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन हेयर इज अ पॉट we can uh, increase the more than 230 or decrease the more than 180 easily with the help of pot here is a esp8266 wifi module to connect uh, with a thingspeak iot server He, this is a proximity sensor to sense the rpm of the induction motor for demonstration this is a small induction motor you will get with a project this is a temperature sensor to sense the temperature actually this temperature sensor vibration sensor we have to assemble on our induction motor in our college or in our industry the induction motor is there on that we have to put this temperature sensor this vibration sensor current sensing which is flown into the load is sensed by the arduino this is the arduino main main brain of the project and lcd for indication the all parameter or showing the all parameters for increasing the load we have the one arrangement to uh, some resistive loads are there so with the help of this resistive load in the demonstration we will increase the current now we will see the working of this project see here initially this induction motor is on the proximity sensor sensing the rpm now project in the connecting with the wifi module with the help of this esp here is a he, here is a thing speak uh, we can see the iot platform here the data will be upload now we can see temperature is a 27 current is only 0.11 ampere rpm is a right now 2250 and vibration is not occurring first we will see one by one scenario then we can understand first that data will be upload every one minute we will see that scenario see here now uploading is there uploading is displaying and whatever the data is coming at here that same data will be upload on the things week page we can see here look we can see here the voltage 230 the current 0.11 the temperature 27 then rpm 2220 like that all data motor status is on that's why one and there is no any fault that's why fault status is zero so that data is continuously uploading each and every one minute okay now we will see the vibrator sensor now the again uploading mode it goes in the uploading mode the data will be upload again the lots of sensors are there that's why video will be more than 5 minutes see here data is again uploaded now we can see the vibration scenario now i am making the vibration suddenly vibration fault is coming buzzer is beeping and load is automatically off because vibration we can see here please reset if fault is correct vibration fault is occurred and check bearing check rotor like that instruction also we are getting now i am resetting it after resetting it will try to again connect to the wifi and starts the motor now we will see the voltage scenario we will see the up, uh, voltage scenario voltage is now 216 i will increase slowly if voltage is more than 250 we can see voltage is high the motor is off means load is off and again whenever voltage come it is in the normal position supply here coming the please check the voltage supply whenever voltage is come normal position 
then load comes automatically it will on because it is less than 250 that's why the motor is automatically on and whatever the data is continuously uploading on the thing speak that's why we can see the graph like this uh, we are uh, taking a demonstration that's why graph is continuously fluctuating but in real time we can see the proper graph we will see the temperature parameter now normal temperature is the 27 I will increase the temperature like this See here 27 is increased by 28 I am increasing the temperature Now it goes into the uploading mode but still I am increasing the temperature See here temperature is now 30 whenever it goes more than the 35 then we can see temperature is high and please reset if fault is correct if temperature is high then check for any short circuit like this we can getting the message now we will see the rpm just uh, uh, right now rpm is 2220 i am re removing the that motor then we can see the rpm is slowly decreasing the motor is slowly decreasing the rf speed and rpm is also decreasing it's near about 390 and that same rpm is uploading at here will be uploaded at here we can see the rpm parameter here was a 2 to 0 due to fall that was 0 and now at the time of uploading the speed was 270 that's why that same speed is uploaded uh, we will see the current parameter for demonstration i am using the resistive loads now i am using the 60 watt bulb now we can see the current is 0 0.26 ampere it's a exact we can calculate it it's a 0 0.26 whenever if current is exceeds the 0 0.7 ampere I am using this 200 watt bulb whenever this current is exceeds now it is on uploading mode and after uploading mode whenever it sends the current and whenever current is exceeds the 0 0.7 it automatically trip the circuit we will now current is 0 now I am see here if current is more than 0 0.7 current is high and what what was the current we can see here current was the 0 0.76 and load is automatically tripped by the circuit so uh, whenever overload is there buzzer is beeping instructions are coming and load is automatically off thank you